Hi everyone, James Vanstone here. Today then, I just want to talk about the power of intention and why it's important and how we can actually use it to improve our horrible levels of anxiety and stress and worry and concern. Stay with me. Hi there, so I've been doing therapists for what, almost 20 years now. And at the same time, of course, throughout that lifespan, I've engaged in counselling myself. I've been to see counsellors, I've been to see coaches and mentors. And one thing that's always baffled me is when you go in for cognitive therapy, which claims that it's very good at helping with anxiety and trauma, stress, etc., is that they often sit you down in the chair and they'll go, right, James, what score emotionally would you put yourself at today? And then what you do is you consult the left hand side of the brain because they're after a figure here. They're after numbers. They're after scores on the doors. And you, you look, you, you consult with that logical side of the brain and you go, uh, yeah, I'm at 50. I'm about at 50. 50 out of 100. I put myself at 50 today. And then what they'll do, the therapist will say to you, so how can we get you to 60? Now, problem with that question is they're asking you to consult with the logical side of the brain, whereas it's the emotional side that we need to tap into to make those positive changes. So it's all very well to logically to say, yeah, I'm at 50 today. I'd love to get to 60 in the next half an hour. That's all very well. But what we really need, what we really rely on is the emotional side of the brain to get us to that place. So today, I'm just gonna run through very quickly. Only try this, obviously, if you can give it your full attention. Not when you're driving, operating machinery. You need to do this when you can be in a quiet space, a peaceful space, a space where you won't be disturbed. Now what this is, this is nasal breathing. Did you know that you've got a left hand, you've got obviously you've got a left hand side of the brain and a right hand side, you've got a left nostril and a right nostril. When you breathe through these nostrils, they've got different functions. Now, what we have to do is we cover over the right nostril so that we're just breathing in through the left nostril as we expand the diaphragm out. So I'll just give you an example. We do it nice and slow. So here we go, ready? And then we can just hold that breath there. While the diaphragm is still expanded, we can just hold that breath. And then we breathe back out through the left nostril again. Might not seem very natural to start with, but rest assured, it's really good for helping with anxiety and stress. It helps you sleep better. It's a very good exercise to do before bed because we all know that stress and anxiety they're like a circular thing that go round and round. They get worse and worse with sleep deprivation. So it's very good to try at night time. So what we do for an intention, we incorporate an emotion, an affirmation, as well as the breathing. So we're bringing it in holistically, psychologically, emotionally. We're starting to move our state into a better, more calm state, a more peaceful state, a state that is more satisfying, a state that feels better and puts us more at ease. So what we're going to do, we inhale through the left nostril, breathe in and hold. And while you're holding, close the eyes now. And I just want you to silently repeat in your head and not out loud. I allow myself to be calm and relaxed. That's it. And again, while holding the breath, I allow myself to be calm and relaxed. That's it. And just while still holding that breath, one more time, silently repeat, I allow myself to be calm and relaxed. That's it. And then breathe out. So we're breathing back out through the nostril as well. Diaphragm is then coming back down and it's reducing, it's shrinking the tummy back down to its original resting place. Have a little play with this. You can try it over and over again. Try and get used to the idea of breathing just through the left nostril in, closing the eyes, then coming up with the affirmation, I allow myself to be calmly relaxed. 
and then breathing back out again. What we're doing, we're bringing oxygen in through the diaphragm into this calming part of the mind. Breathing in through the left nostril literally chills us out. It cools us down. The right nostril is more about heat. It gets in charge of the part of the body which is in charge of heat regulation. Whereas the left side is to do with calming us down, cooling us down, chilling us out. If you could get into the habit of using affirmations and using left nasal breathing, if you can just do this for a few minutes each day or before you go to bed at night, you will reap the benefits straight away. You are literally learning to chill yourself the heck out. Thanks for watching. I'm James Vanstone. Please, if you know anybody that can benefit from these videos, share them. And also, let us know how we can improve our videos for you. Let me and Chris know, and we'll do what we can to bring it to you. Thanks. Bye.